never get to meet a single Indian in England. <laughs> Come on, it's called Connecticut. It's like called Foxwood, you know, this huge place. I'm standing back, stay a guy from Mr. Lino, say Johnny Brousseau, had a tribe of fans. Say, don't remember. Hey, Johnny, I went. Hey, Johnny, I tried with you. Wait again, be no tribe. We're new here, Johnny. Let's face it, folks, it's a different world we're living now. You know, you fly. You know, I'm not a wise guy. I'm an LAX guy. I get the wand, okay, I take off my shoes, go through the little house, and then you stand there. Then the guy's in my toilet bag goes, he 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 goes, why did they take on nose covers? Have you seen these terrorists? Do these people even look like they know what nose covers are? <laughs> it seems to me, if you have nose covers, you are not a terrorist. Okay? I'm not for racial profiling. It's not what Americans about. I think they got to be reasonable. I mean, if you're at the airport and your first name is Mohammed, your last name's Ali, you're going to be there extra 20 minutes, okay? Because <laughs> the airlines do the hell of a job. Oh, we had five or six drunken pilot incidents in the last year. How about America West? The pilot and the co-pilot both drunk. No one even caught these guys in the FAA. I've seen them going round and round in the baggage carousel. I mean, how frightening is that? I get on a plane to hear the announcement. Is your captain speaking? My name is Bob, and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, thank you, Bob. You know, I watched news a couple weeks ago, and I see these two pilots from American Airlines come on, and they say, we're looking for the passengers to be our first line of defense. Hey, when did I get this job? It's <laughs> about to go to the market at the Pat Brown Gross at the pump my own Oh, here's your ticket, by the way, you may be called upon to kill a terrorist too when they get on the plane. <laughs> now what am I supposed to kill him with? They took my nose clippers, hello? <laughs> Gotta break up a little liquor bottle, come on, man! <laughs> it's a different world we live in, folks. White collar crime is up, and that's just in the church. <laughs>